It was 1996 when two brothers to the rescue planes on a humanitarian mission were shot down by the Cuban military. And tonight, relatives of some of the four men who were killed are speaking out. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega live in Hialeah Gardens at a site of the Brothers to the Rescue Memorial. Aralia. Rick, the families tell me they are happy that Castro is dead, but at the same time, they say his death does not bring them any closure because he was never brought to justice. This one is of Carlos. It's been there since uh, December of 96. Among the beautiful ornaments hanging on Mirta Acosta Mendez's Christmas tree, a picture of her late brother, Carlos Costa. Uh, my brother was a Christmas fanatic. That was his favorite season. Costa was one of four men who were killed in 1996 when Cuban MiGs shot down their plane off the coast of Cuba. The men had been running a rescue mission with the grassroots organization Brothers to the Rescue, an organization they were all passionate about. There was never a happier day than when he rescued someone, especially if there was a child. Mirta says Fidel Castro's death Friday opened up old wounds. She says it was on Castro's orders her brother's plane was shot down. Yes, I'm happy to a certain degree, but at the same time I'm sad that I never saw this man go to trial. Brothers to the rescue helped out many at sea as they fled communist Cuba. They dropped supplies to those in need and leaflets to their brothers back on the island. Costa died along with Mario de la Peña, Pablo Morales, and Armando Alejandre Jr. Alejandre's daughter says Castro's death did not bring her closure. For me, really, nothing would bring my father back, so nothing that happens after has really done anything for us. Alejandre's sister says the family's hope is that the other men responsible for shooting down the plane will someday pay. Someday we hope that there will be justice because the death of Fidel does not bring justice in her case. The families tell me they would love to visit Cuba someday, but not until there are some major changes in government. Live in Hialeah Gardens, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News tonight. Aurelia, thank you. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez heads to Cuba tomorrow. Look for his live reports right here on CBS 4 News.